if I had to describe some of the sense in one sentence, it would be uh, creepy Disneyland where you immediately lose your spouse and no one will help you. Uh, why should you read the book? Because I think that this might be the, the year that the world ends. You know, I think that uh, there's not a lot of time left and uh, my book contains the secret for transcending this, this universe and moving to another plane of existence. Uh, it's right at the end. It's right in the last 20 pages. So you have to, and it doesn't make sense. You just sneak to the end and like, oh, and it doesn't work that way. You have to, you have to all the way through and then leave a review and then I send you the secret in two to six weeks. Why should you read Sin on the Sins? You should read Sin on the Sins uh, because everyone else is doing it and it's really cool. And uh, I will personally drive to your house and clean your tub if you do. Uh, there's a voucher at the back of each book. Not the e-books, the physical books. You can tear out one free tub scrub from Josiah Bancroft, the author, if you read So No Sins. So, uh, even if you don't like the book, you get a dirty tub, give it a shot. Why should you read the book? Uh, because it's it's not like anything else you're gonna read this year. It's, it's unique, it's a genre buster, it's a filibuster, it's a peanut buster parfait, it's just a bust, it's Buster Keaton, it's Las Vegas or bust. It's actually a lot like Game of Thrones, and and but with a dash of Harry Potter, you know. Uh, it's I would say it's sort of like The Hobbit, um, Wizard of Oz, right? Uh, plus a little uh, of of the uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and just a dash of the Golden Compass. And uh, who else has sold a lot of books? It's like those guys, but with my name on it.